If you installed a beta version of iOS on your iPhone and you're probably running into a lot of errors, you definitely want to remove it. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to do that. First, we need to go to the settings, which is the settings app, the one I'm pointing to here. Just tap on it, and here you'll see your account. Now, we simply go to where it says general, which is this option right here. Remember, if it has a different name because your iPhone is in another language, just look for the icon on the left that looks like a gear. Tap there, and then we're going to go to where it says software update. Again, it's like a gear but with a little update circle. So let's tap there, and it will start loading the version you have. If you have a beta version, it will show up here where it says beta versions, and you'll see that it's installed. So if you come here and maybe it says something like disabled under beta versions, and someone told you that you have a beta version, it means you don't have it installed. If you want to install it, just do what I did and select the developer option. But if you want to disable it, the version itself says so, so you would just tap disable and then go back. Now it shows up here. In this sense, this would be the easiest and simplest way because you would just have to wait for a new version of iOS to be released so you can uninstall it. What will happen is that once you disable it, when an official version of iOS is launched, meaning a version that is either beta nor developer, a new update will show up here, but it will be the official version. But this is probably not what you want. However, if you're someone who doesn't have much knowledge about downloading updates or installing operating systems, I recommend this because next I'm going to show you the official way to reinstall a previous version of iOS, but it's a bit more complicated and a little harder if you don't have enough knowledge. So, as I mentioned, this would be the easiest way, and you just have to wait for an official version. Now, if you're not satisfied with this answer, I'm going to show you how to install, for example, when you have iOS 18 beta and want to go back to iOS 17, which is an official iOS without beta versions. This works if you already have iOS 19, 20, 21, or whatever. If you want to go back to an earlier version, I'm going to show you how to do that. We have a tutorial from AppleSphera, which is a platform dedicated to talking about Apple, and they have all the step-by-step -step instructions to do this. However, I'm going to show you how it's done. So, from the browser, in this case, you will definitely need a PC or a Mac to follow this step-by-step -step guide. We're going to go to this link here, the one I have open. You'll choose your device, in this case, our iPhone, and we'll specifically select the version of the iPhone that we have. So, this goes from the iPhone 10 and all the way to the most recent iPhones. In this case, the iPhone I use for the tutorial is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and here it will show us the following. We're going to choose the most updated version of iOS, which is 17.6, but it's the official version, meaning it's not the beta version, it's the latest version. Most recent official version from Apple. Download the version and follow the steps. Get iTunes from the Microsoft Store. Connect your phone, open iTunes, and go to your iPhone. Hold Shift, click Restore, and select the file. Turn off. Tap it, and it redirects us here. Click Download. It starts downloading a file and on the page, it guides us. Download the latest version of iTunes from the link to Microsoft Store. Download it, connect phone via USB, open iTunes, go to iPhone 11 Pro Max, hold Shift, click Restore, choose File. It shows Tutorial. Download File, go to Turn Off Find My iPhone in Settings. In Settings, under Name, turn off Find My iPhone to reset iPhone, losing features. After installing iTunes, iPhone appears on left in Windows, showing installed software, iOS 18. Click Restore iPhone. Connect iPhone to PC slash Mac. Restore with downloaded file. Screen shows steps. Do not disconnect phone to avoid issues. After steps, phone resets. It's more complex than reinstalling previous version. When official iOS 18 releases, install without problem. Remember. Resetting will remove iOS 18 settings, reverting to iOS 17.6. So, when we're about to restore it, we'll connect the iPhone to our Windows PC or Mac, and we'll directly restore it with the file we downloaded. The screen will show us the step-by-step -step process, and above all, don't disconnect your phone during the process because it might get stuck on the loading screen or something like that. So, once you've followed all these steps, you will have reset your phone. Honestly, as I mentioned, it's a bit more complex than the other option, 
which isn't just about reinstalling a previous official version. Instead, when the official iOS 18 comes out, for example, I can install the official version without any issues. And remember that by doing this, you will reset a lot of things when you put this file back that you just downloaded because all the settings that, for example, iOS 18 has will be reset. And iOS 17.6 won't have them. Keep this in mind before installing these versions, as options available in iOS 18 might not be in earlier versions. This also applies if you're watching this video years later. For example, if you have iOS 34 and downgrade to 33, you'll lose these options. So see you next time. I hope this video was helpful to you. Bye bye. Buzzing.